like like, it, like it's so funny like because someone is in the chat talking about how like i can just feel their asian parents like aggression <laughs> and they were asking advice like any jobs with tech and i'm like i shouldn't even like give because i'm not going to tell you something that aligns with any of the things that your parents were so it's like i don't want to i don't want to impose here but it's like you're going to be surprised once you start realizing that you're really out here on your own and that's not a black pill at all in fact that's a, it's a good thing when you realize that and grok all right nice we got this server hell yeah let's do some hacking because like cause it's a it's a free that it's a freeing feeling when you realize oh actually as a man like all that stuff doesn't like i need to have full peace in myself first with myself oh no a tiger mom will, will, will choke me to death if, if I get a B. No. No. Is it like chasing status for satisfaction? Is that like the realization people have to make? I don't know about sat purpose. Status versus purpose. Yeah, don't chase titles. I think that's that's what I'm trying to say. I've done that. Like I, I've had moments where it was hard for me to let go of certain jobs because of the status but i i had to just let go like there's there's um you know nietzsche nietzsche says uh amor fati you have to be in love with your fate as long as your fate isn't um what it's not what you're chasing it's the life you're given, you know what I mean? And typically you gotta look back at when you were a kid and all that. Method post, what were you just good at? Content type, or what, or what, were, your, what were your dreams? Because it's like there's a that's one thing I like about Jung is that there is this sense of like, um, like you're just going to have um, your purpose be lived out in your life. I mean, your 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 consciousness will develop in your life, and you kind of just have to choose it. It's like it's like you you will physically grow and die old and all that. So I'm not trying to be like super. I mean, I do. I know I sound so like spiritual hippy dippy. I just think I think it's a lot of stuff like this is is valuable though. Or I find it's just stuff I like to talk about sometimes. Um, because tomorrow we're gonna be having fun on the schemology. This is this is the pre stream, but it's like uh, there's certain things that are gonna stop you from uh, progressing your consciousness, which is really what we're doing. It's like how are you gonna get through your um oh this is already let's do output so how are you going to actually get to a point where you can develop and play through your hero's journey which is your male the male in your your male journey in the male archetype that you're you're living that you're born what you're created with i'm not trying to impose any you believe what you want to believe i'm just sort of talking about I'm not talking about any specific cosmology or religion or whatever. I'm um, just talking about the idea of it. Oh, whoops. I need to log. Like there's a... Um, like, like you have to kind of grow up in life. But also, you don't have to. Like, it's a choice. Or you have to, like, move on. I think it's like that. <laughs> Am I high? I'm, like, going on about such, like, I think I'm just being super reflective the past two days. 
It's like it's like that arcade fire song. <laughs> I'm whipping out arcade fire. It's like our bodies get bigger, but our hearts get colder and all that. Oh, wait. Could add a memory? That's not possible. It's only at uh, 23. Hmm. Interesting. Tried to allocate. There's no way Kuda would be out of memory. Interesting. And when your heart gets cold, you don't like progress through life. You get uh, infantilized. Which is fine. I mean, like, I'm not saying that that's that's just the way the way the world is. If you, if, but it's like a choice. So it's like you got to be light. Got to be like Goku. A while ago, you were saying how resume checking prioritized big names. So assuming NYT opens a lot of doors, at what point were you like, I'm going to move on? <laughs> um, there was a moment. So like my life was super weird um, up until like I was crazy driven uh, up until like from like there's something that like unlocked when I was like 14, 15. And um, I was just super like crazy driven. And I really was only focused on people that know me from by then know, like I was so focused, like, like you don't get good at or the precocious thing, whatever that means doesn't happen. Like it's a, it's kind of a deal. And I spent a lot of time really focused on like, like I knew exactly what I was going to do. And I was like, in a part of my life, I was like, I'm saying this, I'm answering your question, Sai. I'm, I'm just giving some context. Um, but like, there's no way it's running out of memory. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. But, um, let's see. But yeah, there was a moment where I was like, I was spending a ton of time. Let me think. I was spending a ton of time uh, like coding and focusing on my, my dreams and all that. And I was like, I'm going to go to New York and I'm going to like, like, this is like, I'm a kid and I'm like, and I'm like hustling to get these internships and I'm, I'm learning all these things about coding. And I was like, I want to be like a, a big tech person in my, really, I was overcompensating for the fact that I was like, kind of like depressed and scared kid. And, and I was like doing all these after school clubs and all this stuff and like super driven, super crazy driven. And, uh, but I, it wasn't about grades. I wasn't even a good student. It was all just, I wanted to be this like almost Mark Zuckerberg type, like whatever I saw on social network, I was trying to like manifest. And I saw, but the part of the problem, and I'm answering your question, but the part of the problem is I got super dark. And I was winning a ton. Like I was like, everything was working out exactly the way it was going on in my head. And this is where I learned a lot about life and that a lot of things are like deals because, and if I, so like around 20, when I was at the New York times, I was like literally exactly how I pictured my life was like happening. And I was already, cause I was like, I'm going to get a software engineer for a job for a year. And then I'm going to start a startup and then it's going to blow up and all this stuff. And that's what was going on in my head. We you understand, like, I was at the first time in my life where I was making a lot of money. And I was like, and I was, I was, just, my whole identity was around this, like, um, kind of, uh, like, I don't know, like, it was very dark. Like, I almost had, like, a, my persona was, was like, I was trying to fill into this character of someone that I felt like was perfect in my head. And, I had a moment where I had, I just let go of that. Cause I saw that I was like, I was like, I have all this stuff now and I don't even like, like it. <laughs> I didn't know who I was and I just quit. Like, I remember I told them, I was like, I was, I traveled to Europe. Like I had like all these vacation days cause I didn't like go on vacation and I traveled to Europe and I was like free for the first time. And that's all I wanted was just to be free. Cause I had, 
because I'm not going to talk too much about my home life, but it was super like weird. And I was kind of escaping. And it was like the first time I was free. And then I just told my boss, I was like, I'm just going to like quit. And like, and I didn't, I had no plan for anything in the future. And I remember my mom was like, that's like, you should, you should keep the job and all that and all this stuff. And I, and I just realized I spent a long, and it's funny, the girl I was dating at the time. So like when you actually let go of your identity that you've cultivated through trauma, when you let go of it, it's super, it's your whole entire world you change. changes. That's why it's really good to just like, when you're dealing with a lot of problems, try, try to just, you gotta let go because yeah, it took me a while to rebuild my identity after that. But I left the times because I, I, I didn't like I, um, I fully I was fully uh, just letting go of everything that I thought that I needed to do. If that makes sense. That's a little bit of a spiel. And I remember, oh, yeah, I remember the girl I was seeing at the time. I remember there was a moment where I was like, because she saw like I, I lost a ton of confidence. Cause I was like so hungry and crazy. And I, and I like, and she was meant, she was like, and girls will test you a little bit, but she was like, Oh, like, I feel like you lost like some confidence <laughs> and it was true. And and I remember having a moment where I was just like, yeah, but you don't know that like I'm doing that. Cause it's like good. Cause I don't want, cause I knew if I kept with my whole, like F the world, I'm just going to get what's mine. If I kept with that mentality, I knew I was going to get crazy successful because I, everything I was, every single thing I wanted, I was like getting, and I'm not, that's not an ego. That's literally what was, what was happening. And I realized I was like, I'm doing this fully for myself, for selfish ends. And like, and I'm in my identity of like being strong and all this stuff is all built around that. And it took me a long time to get back. And now I'm back. Does that make sense? I know I'm, I'm doing like, I'm, these past two streams are like weirdly reflective. I think I just needed something to talk about while I'm coding. <laughs> Cause like how, like, how do you code and like talk at the same time? Right? <laughs> so you gotta think of something to talk about. All right, I gotta figure out why this memory thing's up wrong. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm trying to make like a valuable, I'm trying to say things that are valuable. Cause I think a lot of people kind of know, I don't know. I, don't know. I also may just, I, my life's kind of odd. So this may not be relevant, but like, can it, S, 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 yeah, let's talk about code. So Toku Navara, wait, what do you mean? Like you let go of the identity? So, SSTI vulnerable site just for uh, P T Tokyo, you, you, you just making requests. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you, Tokyo. I, I can, I can do that. I can, I can uh, make some a uh, video where I'm just making vulnerable sites, but yeah, wait, what do you mean? Like you let go of the, so like, I, I, uh, so like there was a, I literally, this is going to sound crazy. This is gonna sound crazy. I promise I'm not crazy. Hopefully these videos, these streams are proof that I'm not like actually a crazy person. But I did have sort of like in my head like a persona of who because I was kind of kids do this when they're in certain they're in situations where they feel powerless. They'll kind of like in their head create identities. And I spent a lot of time alone, uh, create identities for themselves and around had some certain like life changing sort of events. And I, I remember around that time, I, as everyone does, I'm not special. I, um, sort of was like, I have to, I, th I thought of a picture of who the coolest guy was. And I was like, I gotta be that guy. And then I, I would like, think about that dude telling me what to do all the time. I don't know what that means, but like, I would, that's my lot. That's just what happened. And, uh, I saw that it was like not good and I, and I, and I stopped not, not that, and by the way, I didn't think this was, this isn't like a schizo thing. This is just, 
this is um ideation type like youth stuff that but um and i saw but i saw that it was like real not re not real but i saw that like like uh it was crazy that like every that like everything was working out exactly the way i wanted it to and i, I and it was like and, and i saw i thought that the world i realized that sometimes when your ego is super big um that's why i'm talking about the self and ego stuff with carl jung is like when your ego is super big and you're overcompensating you're making a deal and because you can actually that's why like people like Kanye and all that is super like they get so much uh money and all and power and all this stuff is because that's super attractive in the world that's a reality like people um give like when people are that's so self-involved it's it's a powerful force but it's a dark one and i'm just saying i let go of like that um and i and I just try, I, I tried to get out of tech for like a long time, <laughs> but I still, I still like worked in tech and I had dreams in tech, but I was in, I was one foot in and one foot out. And those years from like 20 to 24 were just 2022 was, was like super, I was like, I was hustling a ton to, I was starting like a contracting tech company and I was working, I was making a good amount of money um but like i was like one foot in one foot out a little and 22 to 24 i was doing a ton of stuff like getting into almost like politics like doing canvassing and meeting all these people and like i was still obviously working in tech but i was like trying to leave tech a little that's how i got into the trying to be a firefighter for a little bit i never was a firefighter to be very clear I was uh, I was just in an academy for like a week, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, like um, I had uh, th those experiences. I was just trying to leave so much, and recently, when in, I've been learning who I really am and what I want to do, and when I say I let go of the identity, is I let go of who I wasn't to try to become who I really am. Okay, now that's that was super gay. So let's 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 fix the fix this issue. All right. So we're running out of memory, which doesn't make sense because we shouldn't be running out of memory. It's actually <laughs> I think I'm gonna do this again and not use interesting. So why would this happen you know what i'm gonna use the um the bloke code llama let's use this one i think i did this before let's see if this works because that for for whatever reason this one is a uh, for whatever reason this one is like not working but yeah i like to you know the streams we have fun we also talk about life sometimes that's life we mix it up we code we hack we make hacker bots we also talk about life you gotta go with the flow It's important though, because I think like a lot of people go through life becoming, and I think right now the path of like a guy finding his purpose is so like not in our society that I think it's good to like talk through these concepts. Does that make sense? Like we don't have any recollection recollection of that. Not not that we don't. Oh, this model is taking taking its time. To load, it's taking taking its time to load. <laughs> let's uh, let's disconnect from this runtime. Hold on.
Because you got to keep it real. If you don't keep it real, what are you doing? Let's let's run these because like there's a let's see let's go there's a because uh, I think a part of like the because the depression rates are super high drugs and all this stuff and I think a lot of it is because most people haven't been taught or there or there isn't a culture around rites of passages in like becoming most cultures have that but like america it's like there's not for men there's none of that very little i mean there is but in smaller communities i mean as like a greater culture i think you get a lot of confusion when you don't sort of have a recollection a framework for like how you like become a person all right let's run this this better work. This better work. To Toku Navara went to the wrong stream. <laughs> Dude, I'm talking about life and you're like, hey, what's a S -S SSTI vulnerable site just for a PHP demo? Also, like, I feel like if you're going to get in the chat, you should like hang out in the chat. This is taking so long to load. Oh, you know why? Their servers are slow. So we got to find. Huh. It doesn't make sense. Why CUDA would, would run out of memory. Is ego like a bedrock for memory? Like, what do you mean the ego is attractive to the world? I say the world is in like for power. So like the, the good, the things that not good, but like the thing, I think the world does, that's not the bedrock for everything now. It's, it's just like, I'm not saying, well, the ego is how you kind of like, it's almost like your, your power juice. It's almost like your power level. Um, I'm just saying that like people are designed because people are designed for worship and whatever has the strongest sense of identity, um, there's going to be an attention. It's going to draw attention uh, and worship, essentially, towards it. I'm Yeah, and I'm not saying that's, like, good. Like, obviously, that leads to really bad stuff. Because um, it's, like, where attention goes, money flows. And if you're, and if your sense, if you have a very like inflated sense of self, where it's like to the point where you actually think you're like create, like you create the world and all that, and you're God, yeah, people are gonna like be drawn towards you. That's that's where like the that's where I think a lot of rappers and like influencers get their um kick for, kicks from. Get they, that's where they get their. Cause you can like, cause wow, this is so slow. I may have to get another, another model here. Let's see code. Let me just look up code model. I don't know why. It actually doesn't make sense that this instruct model. That makes sense. Do you, you know what I mean there? Um, instruct. Cuda out of memory, because um, not like uh, oh, yeah, I forgot their search sucks. It's not saying that it runs everything. It's more that uh, it's more that um, a lot of attention is drawn towards ego, and a lot of attention is what makes. Attention plus effort is what makes resources. What do you want out of the community? What are you aiming for, I guess? Um, 
I don't know. I, I, I guess like, uh, huh. you know what I would really like? I would like to just have a lot of common people to talk to. A lot of common people to talk to. And to, to be around. Actually, I want in-person events. I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be really cool to, to have like in-person events where it's like, um, we may have to quantize the model. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's just load it in. Um, I thought I was loading it in, but is it? Okay, let, let's, let's stop. Let's load this in. Let's stop this. But um, because I think because you, your tribe is is your vibe. And there's a lot of people, including myself, who uh, their vibe isn't being. They're they're, they're they haven't found their their tribe hasn't found their vibe yet. Even though I do have a I have like a lot of friends, quote unquote. Um, no, I mean. I don't mean quote unquote as if they're not my friends, but like I have a lot of friends, but I don't have a lot of unity around like my people, you know, I want to meet some people like me. I, I love my friends. I'm not trying to say. Uh, I also want to do like good things. I don't know. I think it's good to like, I think it's, I want a lot of people to sort of see like the process of like utilizing tech and coding and all this stuff to like do good or to, to do good for yourself. I don't mean like, you know, I don't mean like, uh, oh, let's make a bot that like uh, donates to charity. I, I don't mean like that. I mean like um, we could do stuff like that, but that's not what I mean. I mean like... Um, like to actually like be have a lot of pride in what you do and coding is actually very powerful it's a very like you should be empowered by this because it's it's one of the you can do a ton of amazing things for yourself and get freedom and all this stuff if you um if you learn like how technology works and uh, I try to explore a ton of ideas because really like the thing, the reason why I started loving this stuff is that I started just like getting a piece of paper. It was a creative process when I was a kid. I started getting a piece of paper, writing down like an idea and then making it happen over and over and over again. And then you like start to see that process over and over again. You're like, wow. So it's like, that's why I try to have a lot of different ideas on the stream. It's kind of like surreal hearing you. I don't know how to describe it. It's like you've escaped certain societal games in a way. Money, status, ego. That come from like identity crisis. It's funny. I haven't escaped. Um, no, I just... Um, well, yeah, no, it was a... I had a full... Um, Kind of because a lot of like identity crisis and life crisis I had very young. Like, I spent a ton of time in solitude. Like, um, and I wasn't like, I mean, I guess when I was a little kid, I was, I was weird, but like, like when I, but around like middle school, I was like, you know, I had friends and stuff, but I, um, I would, especially once my brothers all, I have older brothers went to college, I spent a lot of time like alone and it, but it was good for me it was like i know that sounds like a cope <laughs> it sounds like a cope. no like those times were because i didn't actually like the world uh i didn't like want to like hang out uh because i was like that sounds like such a cope i know it sounds like a cope i i i uh but i was like um with all my friends and everything, I was spending, I spent a ton of time like, like really focused on 
trying to become free. And I, I think I, because I was like, I didn't like going home. So I like started a club, you know, like I, like I had certain things where I was like dealing with certain problems and a lot of people weren't in my environment. I don't know people's lives, but like, it wasn't when you become very introverted and, and internal, when you have certain experiences where you're like trying to manifest something in the world. Right. And I, and then in this, by the way, this isn't like uh, a, a brag or anything. I'm just saying my life, like I was able to on my own pretty much. Oh, I, I got help like here and there, but like through a lot of just working hard, I was able to get independence really quick as a teenager. And like, I saw what that was and I saw that game in society and I saw people mentality around that they were way older than me. And I was always around people way older than me. And I got to see all these patterns and I got to reflect on a lot of my behaviors as a kid where I was like running away because as soon as you, this is, this is the, the, the resource like urge to kind of like get resources, it blinds you. So like when you are super hungry for a long time and you get resources, you're going to be opened up to the world. And that's why I say it's like you don't chase money or status or any of that stuff, because as soon as you do that, you're going to have to have an, you're going to have an identity crisis because you're going to you you have to be when you're chasing, you're always running away from yourself. Um. So I had these like all these like middle age crisis type stuff when I was really young. And uh, and like um, th that's why like I kind of think this way. And, and I'm telling you, it's like money doesn't mean shit. Pussy doesn't mean shit. Like you really have to dig deep and like like what would you die for type shit? Because that that's where like that's what once you start getting that um mentality things do kind of start to make more sense it's not that i'm above any any of this i'm just like try, i'm trying to communicate because i think it's important i don't know i'm not as important as i as i think i am obviously maybe i shouldn't talk about this stuff i just think that like no one's as important as they think they are i just think um I don't know, like in my life, I have friends and people that I think like hearing a lot of this stuff because it's like, because I feel like you're just thrown into the fire as a, in, in our society and you don't fully see. So I'm trying to like, I've seen certain things before the people in the, in my lane. I'm not going to talk about anything outside of my lane, I promise. But um, let, let me try to get. And then I think it's really important to, uh, to like communicate these things. I got to get my, where's my, where's my fine tuning script? Oh, right here. Okay. Let's get this. We got to get the fine tuned script apparently. Cause this one's too big, even though it's 7 billion parameters. The, the, the thing that matters the most is, is having your attention be towards something that is like good and greater than yourself. That's all that matters. Like I'm saying a lot of stuff, but what really matters is just like, like, like spend, like, you know how, like, <laughs> you know, it's an interesting thing. It's like, cause some people will have um, rituals, right? Or they'll, they'll be um, like addicted to something, addicted to food. Like a lot of people that are overweight are addicted to food. And if you really think about someone who's addicted to food, it's like, are they really addicted to food? Or, oh, I don't have to start this. I just need to take content. Or, or, or are they addicted to the feelings around it? And how is their attention towards food? It's like, do they have rituals? You know, it's like, oh, I, I have to turn on a, a TV. I got to like watch TV every time I eat. I got to like, Oh, I got to make sure there's always something on. I got to have something crunchy. I got to have something sweet. Like I got to make sure I'm, I'm in my car and like there's no one else and I'm parked here. 
It's like, that's a ritual. You're worshiping uh, food and you're, you're giving power to it in your life. So yeah, you'll, you'll be overweight if you do that. Like that, that's all life is, right? Like what you worship is, it's super powerful, especially like as a band, it it's so powerful what you put your attention to. Um, so it's like build. Oh, I just need to do load in 8-bit. I think that's all I need to do. Maybe I... Let's um, let's just rerun it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. I'm not. There's no. I'm. I want to be very clear. It's like I'm not beyond these things. I just. I just try to. I know the power of, of attention so much that I'm like, oh my God, if I put my attention where stuff that's bad, like I'm going to, like my life's going to be insanely bad. <laughs> and you have to, and it's like, and I know I'm like screaming at myself talking, giving people advice. So it's a lot for me to say this, but you do have to humble yourself. Like I'm just a coder, you know what I mean? It's a uh, like it, th that whole carrier cross thing is is real, in my opinion. All right, please tell me this doesn't get Kuda out of memory. <laughs> please, please, pretty, 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 please. I don't know what's going on with this. There's actually no reason why it should be out of memory. All right, so we're going to GitHub. We're going to hack GitHub. <laughs> we're hacking GitHub. Yeah. Oh, model quarks. Load in 8 bit, is, it's not used from the model? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, wait, I'm not using uh, pipeline for this other one. Like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Use cache. Hold on a sec. Yeah, let's let's do it like this. Let's do this. This is so like, <laughs> it's just kind of ridiculous. Oh wait, I'm gonna go to that tutorial. I'm gonna go to that Medium article. Where's that Medium article? How did they load it up? Why am I not loading it up like the Medium article? Let's see. Uh, the way you describe corporation gives me the impression that entrepreneurship is like a higher calling for you. Do you think more people realize that for themselves in coming years? Or I guess, do you think the world's getting more or less NPC? Wait, what if there's like a global awakening sometime? Yeah, I think um, the whole like entrepreneurship thing, it's a, a lot of it is, um, it, it's super hard. I don't think everyone is an entrepreneur. I think a lot of that is personality and how you're, you've developed um, in your personality and your consciousness, like, because not everyone obviously is an entrepreneur, but, and that's actually kind of a, a problem, right? Because on our generation, let's say roughly everyone, let's say even push it to 35 and under, I was going to say 30 and under, but 35 and under, like the millennial to Zoomer generation, there is an incredible sense, uh, like the overarching ego that I have obviously, and that like a ton of people have where that's why it's like, you have the quiet quitting. It's like you have, there is a sense of entitlement in the gen, in these generations that there is an overwhelming sense of entrepreneurialism. Um, 
and it's cultural i think partially but but it's like i think it is good i think that actually is good i know that sounds like i i'm saying it's not good but i actually do think that's good and, and mostly because um mostly oh wait most i do you think that's good and mostly because i think it is a higher level i think it is a higher level um it's not objectively better to want that but i think there's a sense of independence that humans all kind of call to and i think there's a tribal aspect of that of like hunting and kind of providing for yourself from zero that we call to and as we kind of get away from nature i think getting into a situation where we're um yeah let's 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 actually let's see do it like that but um does that make sense and i or i think um there's something about like that independent call of entrepreneurship that and um that really, really satiates the soul. Because <laughs> everyone, because there is a reality to what's happening with these um, corporations. Let's see, model quarks. Let's actually rerun this. There's a reality that's happening with the model quarks are not used by the model. Um, oh, it's super weird. We didn't get the, this device map thing before. Huh. <laughs> what? But yeah, like, uh, I'm not saying you need to like be an entrepreneur that, that makes anyone better, but I think, um, we're reaching a point where we've all been kind of born in this society where we've been de like disassociated from, um, from our, like pro from a lot of primal things. And when you have a lot of people growing into that, people kind of go back into that pr pr primal freedom seeking mentality a lot. Um, and I think that's why you have a ton of music like that. And you have a ton of, you have all this identity stuff is everyone needs to be special. And they largely need to be special because they don't like they haven't been developing their consciousness and going on their um, going on their hero's journey and all that. But that's a separate thing. Um, but it is very like that whole like um, there's going to be an over correction. <laughs> I'm using, using that term of um, of people sort of, in my opinion of people sort of uh, trying to get back to the basics more and it's already happening. And um, let's clear this, the memory here. And I think sort of like being fully independent is a part of that. Let's see. CUDA setup, CUDA runtime path blocks. If you get CUDA error, huh? Oh, wait, I'm not doing the CUDA thing. Or I'm not using Accelerate. <clears throat> I should. Let's do this. It's just like how we've been made. Okay, in that vein, do you think like the smaller the company, the less disassociated they are from the primal roots, considering human evolution? The smaller the company, the less disassociated they are? Yeah, typically. Yeah. No, it's. I think it's really unnatural to be like a cog. I think it's super unnatural. Um... Yeah, I don't think like that. That's I think it's super unnatural. All right, 
let's run this again. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it's, it's really unnatural to be like, to not have that, like, I know that I've provided for my people. So when this guy was having this interview, he was talking about the Hadza tribe and he was like talking to each, which is this tribe in Africa. And he was talking to each of the, um, yeah, Kuda out of memory. What? Hmm. It's doing a forward call. Interesting. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Pre-trained. Oh, you know what? It does make sense. This file's too big. Look at how big this file is. How, how, how big is this? How many tokens are in this file? It's got to be what it is. Oh, yeah. Um, what was I just saying? Oh yeah, the um, yeah, this 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 is like a lot of stuff. Ah, it shouldn't be a big deal. But yeah, like the um, he was just saying how in this African tribe that he was like living with for six months or or whatever, that like a lot of like all the 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 men there, um. They would say like the favorite day in their life or the best day in their life was and it was always the day that they for all of them. And these are people that have not like lived in modern society. They hunt and gather for themselves um, and they they eat baboons that they kill like every day. It was like the most the best day in their life was the day that they that the day that they killed the the biggest animal for their tribe. And it's like, you could say that's, that's being extreme, like getting value from that. But I think that's super powerful and meaningful. Let's see. Let's actually test this in here. LM.generate. Def, let's define a function that's like add to strings. It did it. It didn't do it well. <laughs> With self assertion as context, test add addition, add two strings. All right. Context size is too big. So, you know what? Let's do. You know what we should do? I'm like, you know what? Let's do. What am I saying? <laughs> Let's, um, not use the Karen bot. Where's our, where's our code? And the, the context window is too big. And we're running out of memory. This is dumb. <laughs> so let's uh, slice this by 10. And let's just get the first 10 requests. Fine. I hate that. But... Oh, do you think the cog life is like an easy life in that regard? Is that the modern issue? Is is a uh, is life too easy, so to speak? Assuming life is about authenticity and pursuing purpose, I don't know if life is about authenticity. Interesting. Is life about authenticity? It's an easy life. Is it an easy life? It might not be an easy life. Like, is it an easy life being an NPC? Like, you could say it's easy. 
it's socially easy because like most people like if you have if you break the social norms for most people not people like me but like if you break the social norms um you're gonna like you feel like you, you're gonna die like it's like a small death so i understand why people do the npc cog um lifestyle and also they want to procreate and it's very simple to procreate when you get a cushy job like you're gonna find you're not gonna find the best like option uh because you're not competitive but it's another reality that men learn uh too late typically but um the that like lifestyle of um taking the quote unquote easy route and just accepting all the narratives and not questioning and and just not wanting to be independent i don't want to live that life partially because it's not even that like that life sounds really hard <laughs> like it sounds super hard to like because you get even though it's okay i guess up front it's hard but long term it's actually super difficult because the more I live the more I learn if your soul's damaged your life every day sucks Ex like exponentially that's why you get like suicides and all this stuff let's see oh the request is forbidden what? oh no that's not nice okay it worked the context window is too big all right. The the upfront is is uh is hard. I, I'm not gonna pretend. I mean, it is easy if you're a cog. Um, if you're an NPC cog, the upfront <laughs> is easy. Um, but long term, it's actually like it's hard to be a coward. Okay. In the moment, it's easy to be a coward, right? We all kind of understand that. But living as a coward is a very difficult life. People don't trust you. Wait, why did uh, this return? Oh, interesting. This didn't return JSON. I definitely return JSON. Gotcha. That's what I find so alluring about the indie lifestyle because I feel like most life fulfillment comes from being yourself rather than social conformity. Social conformity works when you're like starting a civilization from and you're like trying to figure out your the morals versus ethics and like how to. Uh, I don't want to get to. I mean. I know like a lot of people are at a cross with like a lot of things with the Bible and all that, but I think it's super valuable. Just looking if, if, and if you first look at it just for the archetypes and, and for the story and the, the mythos of it, I think that's super valuable. I personally uh, like love Jesus and believe in Jesus, but that's not, I'm not trying to, you know, push on anyone, but I'm just, I'm talking about the old Testaments because it, what's really fascinating about the book of Moses. And if you want to, uh, if you don't, if you have uh, any inklings about uh, Christianity or, or Muslim that, that you don't like these types of creation stories and stories of where laws are set up are in every, uh, every society. So just uh, be grateful for the pattern recognition in it. Okay. Like uh, they're really just setting up a society. And they're setting up the laws and the ethics of like a society. And it's like, you don't like, you have to pray like this. You don't do this. You do this. You know, you do it like it's very, and people need to consent to order in order to have like society grow. Um, right now we don't right now. Uh, we don't really need that. And we're in a situation where, um, well, it's not that we don't need that. We're in a post 
social conformity growth phase of our society where we now we have a built society and we're adding new social conformities around um, virtue signaling and identity and like feelings and things like this because and it's and in my opinion it's typically it's not it's for like uh it's not so much for order as much as it's in it's for chaos right now um and i don't mean chaos like uh just so everyone kills each other um i i mean chaos i'm not being like conspiratorial here about that i mean chaos is in like you're in you live if you live a chaotic life as a man you will be very easy to sell to that's all i'm saying there um all right so let's see let's see why this is very i, I like the i like talking and coding it's, it's actually kind of interesting and now i can code because i know why the thing isn't working It's interesting. This whole thing is interesting. I find this very interesting. Like what I've chosen to do this past two months. I like it. <laughs> All right. So, oh, you know why we need course? No, we don't need course. Hmm. Did I change this URL? Yeah, I did. Let's actually log. Text. For some reason, we're getting back an HTML page, which in Flask means that things are broken. I feel like, wait, did I not address? Sometimes I forget, did I address? Oh, fulfillment comes from being yourself. What does that mean? <clears throat> See, request forbidden. Please make sure your request has a user agent header. Oh, that's not. Error ngrok 3200. Wait, what? Oh, the ngrok URL isn't found. Oh, well, that, that'll do it. Yeah, are you sure fulfillment comes from being yourself? <clears throat> There's a chance that might not be true. Because <clears throat> what is yourself? Like, I'm trying, like, I could say being myself is just like trying to get as happy as possible every day. Is being yourself a feeling? Like, who are you? Are you your feelings? Like, I mean, like, satisfaction comes from realizing what you want to do with your life on your own accord than pursuing it. Maybe. No, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say you're wrong. I'm just saying, um, I think that there's, I think there's an issue because, and by the way, you, I'm not saying I'm right about, like, I, I'm not trying to, I might not know what I'm talking about, but there's one issue though, because wait, why, why is this link? There's one issue with that. Because I think a part of purpose has to do with the things you can't control. And acceptance of that. Because it's like, I think it's in different phases. Like, I think, I think you have different phases in your, um, in your life when it comes to, um, let's see, tunnel and rock not found super weird when it comes to like developing i think like because if you choose something and you want to do it 
Does that, does that mean it's good? And does that mean it's you? Because what if you chose something as a reaction to something else out, outside of you, right? What if you chose something because like, okay, nice. We actually got, all right. <laughs> Whew. Okay. So it says, based on the given HTTP request, here are the technology.